You know plants are powerful, but do you know how to unlock their full therapeutic potential? Well, it all comes down to one single step. Hey everyone, it's Lillian here and welcome back. Last time we talked all about the amazing intelligence of medicinal plants and how they create these powerful compounds just to survive. But that brings up a really big question, right? How do we actually unlock all that goodness for ourselves? Well, today we're diving into a super simple hack you can use at home. It's all about choosing the right temperature for brewing your herbal teas. Whether it's hot, cold, or even just room temperature, each method isn't just about a different flavor. It's about a different kind of wellness magic. So get ready to turn a simple cup of tea into a potent, personalized remedy. Here's the science in a nutshell. Different plant compounds just dissolve best at different temperatures. Think of it this way. Temperature is the key that unlocks the therapeutic compounds from the plant. First, you've got your volatile compounds. These are the ones that give plants their vibrant aromas and flavors. Things like essential oils and terpenes. They're super delicate and just evaporate easily when exposed to air. That's why your chamomile tea smells so good the second you pour hot water in. Then you have your non-volatile compounds. These are the heavy hitters, stuff like minerals, saponins, and tandins. They've got a high boiling point and don't evaporate easily at all, which means they need more time and energy to be released. It's a lot like cooking. A quick saute brings out the fragrant flavors of herbs, while a slow simmer extracts the deep richness from a bone broth. Tea works the exact same way. You've got to use the right cooking method to get the results you want. And you don't need any fancy gadgets. Honestly, a simple, inexpensive kitchen thermometer is all you need to be a precision herbalist. Hot water brewing is what most of us think of when we hear the word tea, but it's actually two different methods, infusions and decoctions. Infusions are what you use for delicate leaves and flowers like chamomile, peppermint, or even hibiscus. The hot water quickly breaks down their cell walls, releasing all those delicate volatile oils and antioxidants. The idea temperature for an infusion is usually right around 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 90 to 96 degrees Celsius. Now here's a pro tip for you. Always cover your cup with a lid or saucer while it's steep. Those fragrant essential oils escape as steam, and you want them in your tea, not just floating around in the air. Decoctions are for the tough woody parts of the plant like roots, barks, and seeds. You have to literally simmer them down to unlock their compounds. And the ideal temperature for a decoction is a gentle simmer at 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. For example, when you're making cinnamon and orange tea, you're making a decoction. Simmering them for 15 to 30 minutes in a pot will break down their dense fibers and and release all those deep-seated non-volatile compounds. The warmth of the pot and the smell of those spices will make your whole home feel so cozy and therapeutic. Now for something completely different, cold water extraction, which is also called maxeration. This is a slow but incredibly powerful method. Over several hours or overnight, minerals and delicate compounds slowly dissolve without the harshness of heat. This process usually preserves vitamins and enzymes that would be destroyed by boiling water. Just think of vitamin C and B vitamins. Both are super sensitive to heat and can be degraded by boiling. Cold brewing protects them. This method also creates a totally different flavor profile. It's smooth, less bitter, and so refreshing. It's the perfect way to get a potent, mineral-rich tonic. So you're probably wondering, where do you even get these amazing herbs? Well, you can definitely find quality options at your local grocery store. Just look for dried herbs in the bulk or tea aisle. However, for a wider variety and often fresher, higher quality herbs, I would really recommend visiting a specialty health food store, an herb farm, or an online supplier. Just look for organic or ethically wildcrafted options. The fresher the herb, the more potent and great tasting your tea will be. By choosing the right brewing method, you're not just making a drink. You're consciously unlocking the full potential of nature's harvest. 
So try a new brewing method this week and let me know in the comments how it went. I can't wait to hear about your experiences. And if you haven't already, make sure you watch my video on how medicinal plants work to really understand the incredible science behind these healing compounds. Together, these videos give you both the why and the how for bringing medicinal plants into your daily life. Remember, every time you brew a cup of herbal tea, you're actually participating in an ancient ritual. You're not just adding herbs to water, you're connecting to a history that spans cultures and generations. You are becoming a modern day alchemist using the simple wisdom of nature and nurture to support your well being. So enjoy every sip and cherish the moments of quiet connection you've created.